What's up, ladies and gents? <laughs> What's up, ladies and gents? Today is going to be a slightly different video, and I'm going to be reviewing the Blue Microphones Yeti X World of Warcraft Edition. Obviously, I myself am a gamer, and I'm going to be reviewing this mic from kind of that point of view. So I don't know uh, a lot about microphones in general. I don't know a lot about what all the settings do, all that sort of thing. So I'm going to go into it kind of with that first and foremost in mind. And we're going to see how this holds up uh, and what my overall opinion of the microphone is and show you some of the settings, do a little bit of a, a deep dive into the software and just get a kind of overall feel for what we think about the mic. So the Yeti X software is actually incorporated into Logitech G Hub, same as the rest of the Logitech gear. So the settings are initially, I'd say, a little bit overwhelming, a little bit intimidating for somebody that doesn't really know what all these different things mean. Uh, there's a lot of different sliders and uh, you get a small explanation of what it does. But in terms of like the sound itself, um, I would not know how that sort of translates into an audio improvement or, or you know, something that sounds uh, less ideal, I guess. Um, however, I did have an issue initially where when I was shouting, it was kind of distorting. And I, it turns out the input gain was too high. And I, I was able to discover this after just like a little bit messing around with the two sliders. I had, I, I believe initially I had master output level on max and the input gain was quite high. And due to that, it was just like popping at the top. Uh, so yeah, messed around with it a little bit and managed to, managed to figure out that lowering input gain actually made it sound a lot better. Um, so even somebody with really you know, little experience with this sort of thing is is able to kind of go into it, have a have a look at it and mess around and come out with, you know, something that sounds better or more optimal or ideal for what you want. And I guess that's kind of my first point. Uh, as somebody that is not experienced and does not want super, you know, high technicalities from their microphone, you just want your voice to sound good, right? You don't want to uh, have a microphone that is making everyone else listening to you cringe, right? So right now, I think that this definitely checks the box of sound quality is is where you want it to be uh, i'm really happy with it i think it's an improvement on my previous mic was not which was not cheap um to be fair my last mic i think was like 140 pounds uh, i think the yeti x is like 160 pounds on amazon uh and i think the yeti x world of warcraft edition is going for something slightly more like 180 something like that i'm not sure if it's on sale yet um so yeah, it's it's definitely an improvement for the increase in price. Uh, and it's something that I'm definitely going to continue to use in the future. Uh, so I'm happy with that. I guess the next next sort of thing that it offers is, and, and this is, I guess, a big one for me, is, is the direction of the microphone. So you don't want your keyboard picking up significantly when you're gaming. As, you know, if you've ever played games with someone, there's always that one guy who's, whose keyboard is really, really loud through the mic and you're just like, bro, you just got to mute, like, get out. You don't want that, right? So this mic actually has four mics inside it and you can adjust the pattern of how those mics are picking up. So right now I have it on cardioid and you can actually change that on the back here as well. There's a little button. Um, and cardioid is sort of, front facing only so what that will do is ideally that reduces the n amount of of kind of sound that's coming in from the back i.e my keyboard so if i'm talking right now and then i start typing the noise of it is relatively low you can hear it but it's pretty standard on a microphone but it's relatively low in comparison so if we then go to change it to uh say by action i believe this is front and back so the difference now, if you listen to my voice and then hear me typing, is quite considerable. And this is obviously a good setting that you can now use if you're doing like an interview or something, or maybe there's two of you playing, you can change the direction that the mic picks up from. So then you can basically pick up yourself and somebody else. Um, so there's there's different situations where you would now be able to use the microphone. Um, and, that's, and that's kind of my next point is customizability it has obviously as you can see by the settings so much customizability for different situations and different issues you may face 
yeah, okay, it's a little bit kind of intimidating to start with, but if, if anything that you really don't understand, I guess these days you can just YouTube, you know, and there's guides everywhere on that sort of thing. Uh, but honestly, I think for me, it's something that you would just, or I would just go into and just mess about with for five, 10 minutes and just see how the thing you're changing changes the sound. And if you like that, so that's kind of the sound uh, settings all neatly in one place, very optimized, I would say. Uh, but as this is the World of Warcraft edition, we also have an effects tab. And if you get the Blue Yeti X, I believe you'll just have this blue voice tab. With the World of Warcraft edition, you also have these effects. And you can change the way your voice sounds. There are, there are some effects already loaded in. These are the standard ones. Uh, but you can also create custom ones. So the cool thing here is, again, you have this sort of, this area of like sliders, things to turn off and on. And you can literally just mess around with all these different settings, combine them, switch them, turn them on and off. And that will end up creating a different kind of voice um, preset, I guess. So if we start off with uh, a default one, which is Warcraft Orc. Now I sound uh, sound very different, <laughs> uh, and there's a few different ones. We can go for gnome, and now I'm talking like a gnome, or we can go for gnome extreme. Um, so this one uh, is actually one of my favourite ones. Uh, <laughs> I always get really, really uh, kind of self-conscious when I got these things on, because I just figured that I, you know what, I don't know what to say anymore. Uh, but this demon, I guess, makes you sound pretty badass. So if people aren't expecting you to suddenly sound like this, you can just blast it out and, and give people quite a shot. Or you can just go for the the old good old fashioned imp. Um, this one's a big favourite of mine as well. I actually uh, tried to use this once to convince people I was lagging, but uh, I didn't quite pull it off. Um, but yeah, we've got some custom ones as well. Uh, one that ones that I made. Uh, this actually only took me like. Five minutes to make, I'm sure I could make it better. Uh, this was while well, I was having a quick mess around. And uh, yeah, this is this is this as close as I could get it to replicate my undead's voice, but I'm sure there's there's more settings that I could play with to to slightly improve the sound and, and make it sound even better. As I said it only took five minutes on this. We can go back to the good old fashioned Rome Yo Yo. Uh, this is this is probably my favourite one. Um and this one's actually, you can probably hear, it's based off the Orc one. I, I'm going to tweak it a little bit more, but yeah, this is this is right now my my favorite thing to play around with and, and troll people with. Um, so yeah, that's that's the kind of custom effects. And again, it's, it's there's so much customizability with it, and and you can kind of be really creative and, and make your own um, your own voices in such like an easy, an easy way. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So for somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, it's a lot of fun and, and yeah, really, really optimized. But that's not all it's got. It's got a, a sampler as well. Let's take the, uh, the room yo-yo voice off real quick. Boy. Continue. Uh, so it's also got a sampler. And this also has the uh, option to import your own sounds. But yeah, what you can do is you can... Fight for Azeroth. Play your own voice clips or, or sound clips or whatever from World of Warcraft. Um, so if you're streaming or whatever and something funny happens or whatever, you can play some random sound effect. Let me try and find something funny. Um, we got the imp. I guess we got the murloc. If somebody does something stupid. Uh, and you can actually bind these. If you've got some other Logitech gear, you can actually bind it to the gear. So I'll, I'll show you that at the end. But yeah, we'll bind the murloc to my mouse binds. Uh, so that, yeah, when you press that button, you can play the sound by it, which is actually so cool. Um, makes it a lot quicker than literally going into the, uh, the software and pressing it, right? Uh, what else have we got? Interface. I know there was some that were like super troll. Let me find it. Oh, God. So, yeah, I mean, if you really want to uh, drive people away from... <laughs> from your stream, you can just start going ham spamming these. <laughs> I might, uh, might give that a go later. 
Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of uh, lot of options to to get trolling with these as well. Uh, some that can be used for pure comedy purpose. So yeah, that's the that's the sampler. Uh, we also have lighting. So uh, the way that the mic kind of differs from the original Yeti X as well is the it's you can I guess you can see it on the screen. There's custom kind of runes as this is like the volume bar. So whenever you are talking, these kind of light up. Um, and I will I'll turn the right mic around and give you a quick look at that. Right. Let's quickly change the pan. So you should be able to hear me now from the back. Uh, I have it on the, you know what, I'm going to go directional. Now, yeah, you should be able to hear me now from the back. And as you can see, the volume uh, of the input is, well, I can see it on, on the camera on OBS. It's clearly popping up and down uh, as I talk, so I can see it's working. Uh, and then you can, if you do, do need to mute, you know, your mom or whatever walks in the room. which I think is really, um, really handy for a gamer. You know, people walking in your room all the time. You don't always want that on, on comms. Uh, so I think that's a really cool addition and a really, um, really, it, it looks good, right? While you're doing it as well. So yeah, the, uh, the World of Warcraft edition design is slightly different as you, you can see. So I've switched it back to cardioid now. And yeah, you can change the colors pretty much to whatever you want. So that's the color of the non-muted button. And then obviously we can change the muted color. Uh, and yeah, you can change it. This is like, it sort of fades in and out. Probably should have done this before turning it around, but nothing too crazy here. Uh, and then obviously you can do the same thing with the mute one. So it's 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 more quality of, li quality of life. Again, customizability. Um, and then you can change the color of the runes and how they peak and whatnot as well. Um, and then you also have the option to plug your headphones into the microphone itself. Uh, and this allows you to uh, decide how much of the mic you're hearing in your own uh, headphones. So right now I have that set to basically none. I don't want to hear my own voice um, when I'm gaming, when I'm streaming. But if you're recording something where you do want to, you know, be able to hear slightly how you're, you know, how you're sounding, then that could be very useful. So yeah, it, it saves obviously plugging your, your headphones into the back of the PC. So I, I have it plugged into the mic right now and it's just, again, quality of life. I think one of the, I guess, I guess I wanna try and like say some downsides honestly, but to be honest, the biggest downside for me was like the microphone is a lot more kind of robust, I think, than my old microphone. It's a lot heavier. It's it feels like a better quality microphone, but also with that meant that it completely crippled my old flimsy boom arm. So I had to get a new boom arm, um, which I guess is a nice problem to have. But yeah, uh, now I uh, have a nice sturdy boom arm and I need to find a new location for it because it's somewhat covering my left hand screen. So the old setup that I had doesn't work. Uh, not that it's going to be significantly worse, but you know, right now I'm making do. So that was all of the software functionalities. Um, I've seen, a, you know, obviously there's a lot of reviews on different products out there, and I feel like a lot of them often are from quite a technical perspective. And I wanted to try and create something from like a streamer's or gamer's perspective that's, you know, a little bit more what the average kind of person wants out of the microphone, which honestly I think is just voice quality and just ease of use. So I think that this microphone definitely checks those boxes. Um, it's probably the best microphone or desk microphone I've ever used full stop. Um, I think that if you're a Warcraft fan and you want to mess around with the voice changer and the sound bites and stuff like that, then, you know, go nuts. It's worth it for sure. You'll have a lot of fun with it. If you are just looking for a solid microphone with good voice quality, then the Yeti X is actually the same hardware. So that's definitely one to look at. 
Uh, that's all I got for you for now, though. So thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.